But we're going to find out tomorrow night if John Beeline made a great decision. The lottery is tomorrow night. If the Cavaliers win the lottery, then you're going to go John Beeline won the lottery too. Yeah, McLovin. Isn't he like a defensive heavy coach? Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want it to be Tom Thibodeau with Zion Williamson. I I want an offense. I want them to run the ball, get him in the open court. I don't want to see a defense first coach. Yeah, he's he's a great coach, but he's a great college coach. Unless Dan Gilbert goes, you know what? I love me some Michigan guys. Even though I went to Michigan State, we're going to bring in John Beeline. Close enough. I can't get Izzo. I'll get Beeline. Yeah, Paul. Or he's a true Spartan and just wants to hurt Michigan basketball. While tanking for the next Maybe years. he helped his team and then he then he hurt Michigan. There it is. Maybe that's what he was trying to do. Twofold. How many calls do you think he made to Izzo over the last five years? Probably 300. Well, maybe not that many. But I, I Googled Izzo. Like he's, been, he's gone after him, it said, so many times. I'm wondering if he placed a phone call to Tom Izzo before he called John Beeline. Dun, dun. If you're John Beeline, though, you're 66 years old, you're, you've done a lot of good work, you made a lot of good money, and you're like, oh my gosh, an NBA team's going to give me five years, it's a young team that I can mold, why not give this a try before I wrap up my coaching career? What a great yeah. last call. That's what I think this is all about for him. Nice. Just, hey, let's try something before I wrap, he's 66, and he must think, like, I, I, got, I may have Zion Williamson and Colin Sexton Yeah, next but he's year. a teacher. He, the, the, the NBA, you don't go to teach. But, you're a whole monitor. But... You don't have to recruit 17-year-olds anymore. You don't have to drive to middle of nowhere, my guess. Yeah, but he doesn't get the big-time guy. He, he's not he's not battling with these other guys. He couldn't I, get Zion, so he goes to the Cavs. So he can get him. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't get him to go to Michigan. We'll get him to go to Cleveland. Who would have thought? Well, I was going to say what's more surprising, what the Lakers did or what Cleveland did, but I, I mean, I'm really shocked. I, I'm shocked that John Beeline left Michigan. And, and maybe he looked at this, like Paulie said, hey, you know what, I get a chance. I don't know if I've ever heard John Beeline say, you know, my ultimate goal is I want to coach in the NBA. I mean, it's one thing to coach in the NBA. It's another thing to coach the Cavaliers. And maybe you're, you're, you're humbled by the call. You're honored by the call. Hey, would you like to coach the Cleveland Cavaliers? Maybe he was shocked. Maybe he took the job and, you know, once it wears off, he'll go, wait, where? What am I doing? Uh, yeah, uh, we didn't win the lottery. We have the fourth pick in the draft, and you're coaching the Cavaliers. Where, where'd Zion go? Well, don't you worry about him. You'll get to face him a couple of times, but that's it. Say hello to R.J. Barrett. Yeah, Paul. How many college coaches are on the horn right now trying to get a hold of the parents of the Michigan commitments for next year for basketball? I don't know who they signed for next year, but... I'll bet they're already getting phone calls. And Greg Anthony talked about his son, Cole, who was one of the top 10 recruits this year, maybe even top five recruits, and the fact that he was considering Michigan. Well, that's another interesting part of it. You know, these kids who commit, and then all of a sudden John Beeline goes, well, yeah, second thought, I'm thinking about taking the Cavs job. Uh, if you miss any of the interviews from this program at any point, uh, Mercedes AMG Man Cave, just go to the Dan Patrick Show app where you can watch and listen from inside the Mercedes AMG Man Cave, Mercedes AMG driving performance. Whew. I'm shocked. I really am. I'm shocked that John Beeline would leave Michigan. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.